Howdy, folks. Welcome back to another episode of the Reselling Niche Podcast. What sold? This is for the first week of February 2021. Let's get started. So, first thing I have here is a basic t shirt, nothing fancy. And it's just a kind of a basically a cheap t shirt, actually, just nothing fancy, no real brand. Guild and extra large. I listed it as a Debbie Harry type lookalike t shirt. Uh, I got this on a lot with a bunch of other shirts for like 50 cents. And I got an email on eBay with somebody really upset saying I was misrepresenting Debbie Harry from Blondie fame. And so I had to make sure that I repurposed the word lookalike and style or something like that. So they weren't upset, but it sold. This one, like I said, I got it for just maybe 50 cents as part of a lot. Sold for 16.46 shipped. Um, probably got it in the summertime. Okay, so next one is more of the same. I know I keep showing you the stuff, but it sells nonstop. This is just a basic Nike t-shirt. And I sell this kind of stuff all the time. Why do I sell it? Because it's workout gear. Workout gear is my favorite thing to sell. It's easy, it's cheap. If you sell clothing, dry fit, Nike, if that comes in focus there. Uh, was it Brown, basketball, the university? Nothing fancy at all. Probably had less than 50 cents into this one. This one sold for $21.45, shipped. And like I said, I sell those all day long. I get tons of them. Get them cheap, though. That's the main thing. You want to make sure you get those cheap. Next thing, more clothing, but a little bit more interesting. Uh, this one had writing on the tag here even. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a North Face. Ugh. Right there. Anyway, North Face, kind of a thin, woolly polo, zip, full zip jacket thing, majig. Um, I had this sold for, sorry, I sold this for $42.28, including tax and shipping. And I had this up for $49.99, took a best offer for $42.28. A lot of times, just so you know, a lot of the prices I have listed there, that's what I have them listed for. And I'm going to be telling you what it actually sold for. So that's why you might see a discrepancy in the price there. Because I take a lot of offers. I get them for cheap and I try and sell them fast if possible which is tough sometimes with used clothing. Okay, next item. Everyone should have, if you collect toys, sorry, if you sell toys, action figures are not the only things you can sell. You can parts, the arms, the legs, in this case, the head. I have, let me see if this is really not coming in very clearly, but this is just the head of action figure. I have literally a thousand of these. I have a box of heads in my garage, as weird as that sounds. Uh, all action figures, all plastic, no worries. Uh, this sold $29.99 shipped. I have pennies into this. Um, I don't even know how much I have into this. Um, people like to, I guess, mix and match, um, redo their action figures, change them, customize them. Kit bash is it, when you change your clothing, I believe. I'm not sure if that counts. For the heads too but anyways um action figures doesn't it doesn't have to be complete in the box if it's rare the parts literally the heads will sell and that's what i did so moving on from the morbid to the list morbid this is back to my usual this is a kind of a off-white it's not even that great a condition tank top the Nike tank top, so dry fit again. Dry fit does well. A lot of other brands have similar types of clothing, uh, active wear, exercise clothing. Sixteen twenty six shipped. I had about a dollar into this uh, from the same lot as that other shirt I showed you earlier, actually. So, like I said, I sell that stuff nonstop. Okay, back to action figures. This is. A lady from, let's see here, if she comes in focus. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Irana Spalko, I believe is her actual name. I'm probably butchering that. But this one I sat for a while. Sold for $22.29, including tax and shipping. 
I got this in a bulk lot with a bunch of other figures. I didn't know who it was initially. I just looked it up. Um, you can use Google's great Google Lens, uh, Google Images is what probably what I used for this actually because I wasn't really using Google Lens. So Google Images, if you can't find a thing, it's always helpful for me. And nearly always somebody else is looking for the same thing you are or they put it up maybe not even on eBay, on Pinterest, on Google somewhere. Um, so you'll be able to find it based on the picture. Just describe it well. Okay, so next one. This, people say, does Ed Hardy still sell? Well, I guess it does. This is a really beaten up Ed Hardy shirt. That's kind of a cool print, I guess, if you're into Ed Hardy stuff. Um, and this one sold for $26.49. Shipped, and it is something that's been sitting forever. I don't recommend Ed Hardy that much anymore. This one, I thought was a cool design. I probably got it for two bucks, I'm guessing, and it sat forever. And I'm really glad it's gone. I'm hoping it doesn't come back because I think I saw this and it might have come back once before. Because the size is a two XL, but it runs small for a two XL. And I try and detail that, but that doesn't always work. So anytime your clothing is off, if it's too big, too small, skinny, whatever, too long, altered, customized, make sure you put that in big, bold letters because otherwise you're just getting a return regardless if you have returns or not. They're sending it back to you or giving you a negative feedback if they're lazy. Okay, next, this for all you Marvel Fantastic Four fans is something that I've been sitting on for a while, The Thing. Uh, and it's about 14 inch rubber action figure. Actually doesn't work. You can see at the bottom there, there's battery uh, places for two batteries. I've tried it multiple times. I tried cleaning it out. It doesn't work. And this thing is, I guess they play with it too much. Uh, it actually sold once before and they never paid for it. Sold for 30, 31. Got this for about 4.99 at the thrift um, and I thought it was gonna sell well. My mistake is I didn't test it when I was there and that's why it sat forever. So be careful if you can test things, take batteries with you. Um, or you can sometimes ask if they're nice. Um, usually they won't, but at least they'll point you in the direction of where you can maybe get batteries. But anyways, I digress. So next one is a jersey this one i thought i would sell for more i think i had it up for more than this it sold for 22 10. i think i had it for up to 30 or something like that just a basic the warriors jersey green jersey so um like i said i sold this for 22 10. it sat for about a year i'm gonna say so that one sold a lot slower than I thought it would, but oh well. Okay, so here, I'm hopefully we'll do a video on these. This is a Leonard figure. People always mistake these as G.I. Joe. It's not. Leonard is, let me see if I can find the insignia on it. Anyways, I can't. But the core, they have been around for a while. So I think the early 80s they came out, but they, um, make very similar action figures to G.I. Joe, and people always either mistaken them for G.I. Joe or that you just pull out right G.I. Joe figure when it's not. Um, a lot of their figures actually do pretty well. This one is a pretty common generic figure. Uh, it only sold for $10.60. I got it a lot for maybe, I don't know, pennies. I buy these giant lots where stuff is worth next to nothing per piece, so this one's 1060 shipped. He actually initially offered me like $4, I think. So I said no to that, but he took 1060, so I don't know where he got that number from, but oh well. All right, so my next thing, my favorite thing to sell this year, if I can find it, is, or one of them, is vintage athletic wear. And if you can, I don't know if you can really tell from a horrible way that I'm holding this is, but. This is just kind of like an oversized sweatshirt. And this brand right here is pretty awesome. I've sold two or three of these this year. Flying horse, if you find that, pick it up. 
Um, this is just nothing fancy. It's from the 80s. It says 88. You won't be able to see that all the way on the bottom of that logo there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But anyways, exercise type equipment, Gold's Gym, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Lee related stuff sells well, even if it's not branded. If it's a no-name brand, that one happened to be branded. But a lot of my stuff is not Cutoffs even, I've had those in the past, like sweatshirt, t-shirt, sweat cutoffs, those do well. And did I say how much that was sold for? No, $67.50, including tax and shipping. Uh, it's going away, so I believe uh, $49.99 of that is what I made on it, and the rest is tax and shipping. $67.50, excuse me, $67.50, including tax and shipping. And... Yeah, that was a fun one because I got it in a giant lot. Didn't really know the brand, didn't really know what it was going for, but it sold pretty fast. Okay, next one here is, this is an Amazon return. Nothing fancy, just Lego. And you can see how beaten up this thing is. And you can see that, see the curve. It is beating the heck. Amazon, when they return stuff, they really, I think I got this in a giant box with like one air pillow and then this. So they're really exact when they want you to send stuff to them, but when they send it back to you, they could not give a toss. But anyways, this sold for $25.88, including tax and shipping. I had, oh, I got this years ago. I cannot even remember what I got this for. I'm sure I got this with 50 others just like it. So I really don't know what I got this for. So. Anyways, next, the brand I used to buy all the time. Everyone, if you look at reselling videos from like five years ago, everyone would be talking about Pendleton, 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 Pendleton. And let's see, it's just, it's not the greatest size. It's medium, woolly. I mean, it's a great seller. I have not really found very many of them recently. And I'm trying to look for it. This one has holes in it. I can't find it right now. But this Pendleton, for some reason, whenever I find it, has holes in it. Either it's missing buttons or it's got like these tiny little moth holes or whatever they are. Um, and I always find them with holes. This one had holes. It sold with holes. Uh, I had about, uh, I think, $5 into this one. It sold for $32.55. I was hesitant to buy it for $5, to be honest. But I did, and it sat forever, and it sold for $32.55, including tax and shipping, and which I wasn't too happy about maybe letting it sit for that long, but oh well. Pendleton is one of those brands, it's a great brand, but um, it's one of those early reseller brands that everyone used to talk about at first, and I don't know if it got oversaturated, but I just don't find it very much, at least not in good condition. Okay, next. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just a hat. So this one is, I don't even know what this is, Mako. This one I thought was pretty cool when I first got it, but it sat forever. I got to send a lot of about 10 or 12 hats from a thrift store. They were 50 cents a piece. This sold for $20 and one cent, including tax and shipping. Okay, and next guy is this guy right here, G.I. Joe, Deep Six, Deep Water Specialist, sold for, what did he sell for, $32.76, including tax and shipping. I got multiple offers on this for like 4 or $5. Loose G.I. Joe without the accessories, don't always go for that much. They're very common, but if you get them, like they always say, from like 50 cents under a dollar, you can always sell them. Not always. You can eventually sell them for 10 bucks to 15 bucks. Usually this one happens to sell for double that. Um, I would not spend too much on them though, uh, especially if they're not complete. I mean, if you can find them in the box, that's a different story, but um, anyways. So this one, <laughs> I thought I had a double sale on this one. This one is just another brand that's kind of taken a slight hit. Maybe it feels the weather. It's not the warmest right now. Rain Spooner, medium, um, and this is a very, pretty typical uh, inside out Rain Spooner shirt. I find these, I used to find them all the time, not so much, and if I do find them now, the thrift stores for some reason think these are worth 
40 50 dollars i saw one for 39.99 the other day uh, ridiculous because this one sold for 49.99 including tax and shipping and the guy wanted two of them even though i have other ring spooner shirts listed he wanted two of this exact one which i don't have unfortunately so i have an offer sitting there which i cannot fulfill because i don't have it he bought the only one that i do have has anyone ever got that before somebody offers you something for an item that has zero quantity um i guess he could do that technically because i hadn't taken it down yet but oh uh, well i guess that's a sale that will not be fulfilled okay and let's see here i think that was my last item right there actually hold on let me double check really fast Oh, yeah. um, well, I have one more. Nothing fancy. I don't pull all my items. These are just the items generally on the day that I'm going to do the video that I have not packed yet or haven't shipped yet. Sometimes I've packed them and I haven't shipped them yet. So um, I'm trying to maybe do these videos or maybe next time I'll do them without the actual items in front of me. I just thought it more interesting. So my last item is nothing fancy, same thing, bread and butter polo, kind of an exercise shirt. Nothing fancy at all. It sold for $10.66, I had maybe 50 cents into it. And then that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you enjoy these What Sold videos, please check out our previous What Sold videos. This is like the fifth or sixth one I've done so far um back to back weeks that is and if you would like to check us out in the mornings myself and leroy blood sweat and sell have a uh, kind of a morning less just list show oh, that's what we call it um mondays wednesdays thursdays and fridays 6 a.m pacific 9 a.m eastern and you can list with us you can jump on the chat you can even jump online with us and talk to us while we're listening or not, or goofing off, or whatever. So anyways, until the next one, I'll let you guys go, and hopefully I'll have more interesting stuff for you next week.